Hello everyone, Neve here. And um, as you can see, uh, my setup here is a little bit different. Um, normally I have this all clear for you, um, but today I, I had to set something up here to go over this. <laughs> so today I am going to go over my process of uh, how I cre created and set up um, the uh, moon readings that I'm going to be doing every month and um, I just kind of wanted to share <laughs> and share how I came up with these and um, yeah so um, if you've seen any of my previous uh, videos over the past couple weeks um, I explain that for every um, for every uh, month in 2024, I almost said 2023, for every month in 2024, I have dedicated to a deity. Um, so January is Ganesha, uh, February is Breach, March is Angus, Rhiannon, Ondagda, Anya, Caridwen, and the rest I haven't uh, <laughs> decorated yet. So Lou, Caridwen's my favorite one. Like, look how cool that one turned out. Um, Lou, Lakshmi, Aryan Rod, Unmorrigan, and Kaliak. Um, so uh, I have that set up for uh, each deity this month or this year. <laughs> and um, one of the things that I'm um, continuing from last year is doing um, readings on each of the new full uh, first quarter and third quarter moons. Um, now last year what I had done was like every full moon I did that in honor of the goddess Bridge um, or Bridget um, and every new moon I did for on Morgan every first quarter was for on Dagda and every third quarter was for Lou you know that's what I did last year um, and I I missed several um, moons <laughs> last year um, but what I'm doing differently this year is I'm still doing all four of those moon phase readings but I'm doing them all with the deity of the month I, I hope that made sense <laughs> but I wanted to come up with kind of a base uh, reading for each month. So I have uh, a base reading for the new moon, the first quarter. I'm sorry, I'm not in frame there. <laughs> the new moon, the first quarter, um, the full moon, and the third quarter. Um, and I, I kind of just came up with a layout that made sense. And um, there wasn't really a... a thought be behind how many cards I was using. Um, yeah, so I just, I just came up with something. <laughs> and, um, but to figure out what each, uh, what each moon was going to represent and of the positions or what the position meanings were, I decided to use the Spread Crafters Oracle. And, uh, I went with the base one instead of the quest or the change expansion packs. Uh, I, I decided to just stick with um, the base pack, uh, kind of because I didn't really want to make it too complicated. And each uh, and this um, this deck comes with each uh, like a bunch of different sections, and I felt like the sections were enough as they were. Um, that I didn't need to add in expansions for this. So that, that was my thought process there. Um, so what I did, um, I pulled out this section here called the focus areas. And um, I didn't do any sort of shuffling. I didn't like do any sort of randomizing thing. I went through and kind of looked at all the different categories, all the different focus areas. Um, and this was basically going to be what the theme was for that month. Um, and this are all the ones that I didn't choose because this is the pile here of all the ones I actually did choose and all the cards I ended up choosing. Um, so I, so when I started off with uh, the, like let's say the full moon, I, maybe that was the one I started off with. I felt like maybe I should po focus more on spirituality with that one. So I, I went through the, the theme cards or the focus area cards and sort of figured out which one best suited that month. Um, and same thing for the other moon things. Uh, so for the new moon, I wanted to do go with something that was more um, new, like like something that was more manifesting or um, goal setting, things like that. First quarter, uh, I wasn't sure. That one I came to last. Um, third quarter, I wanted to have something that was a bit more introspective. Um, like, uh, yeah, so like, 
um, something like a, a bit more shadow worky or <laughs> shadow worky, um, but you know, something like that, Some, something a bit more uh, deeper and more introspective. Um, and then uh, I finally settled on something having to do with uh, connections and relationships for the first quarter moon. So what I ended up finding, let me put the focus area cards away. And here are the cards I ended up choosing. So for the new moon, I went with the card that, here's the whole section here. I went with the card called Goals, Productivity, and Habit. Um, so that is the main theme for the new moon for me. Uh, and that will be the theme every new moon. Um, however, what I will be doing differently between month to month is uh, the, I'm going to be pulling one Oracle card for the theme. It, it's not part of the reading part. Like it's, it's actually not one of these cards. It's kind of a off to the side uh, Oracle card that is adding to the theme of that month. So, and the Oracle deck that I use each uh, month for each deity will depend on the deity. Uh, so for example, for uh, this, I just did my, um, my third quarter reading and I used uh, the Whispers of Lord Ganesha deck for my Ganesha reading. In fact, I have Ganesha sitting right there because I, and my uh, kombucha. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, because I actually just did a third quarter moon reading <laughs> before I started this. All right, I, I messed up a little bit in, um, I started uh, talking because I had paused the video <laughs> for a second and I, uh, started the video again and started talking and was explaining things and then I realized I didn't actually start the video again it was still on pause <laughs> so that that really annoyed me but um, I just moved um, all the categories out of the way so that I can actually lay out the spread um, so the new moon um, it, the theme is uh, let me find that the theme is goals productivity and habit um, now from there uh, I looked at the the different categories of um, of the deck, and and there are different uh, categories in this deck. So there's the secret category. There's a focus area, which was what I chose for the th general theme. Um, the focus area, light work, shadow work, call to action, and then there are subcategories here. And this is completely out of focus. There we go. Um, the subcategories are boundary, expansion, success, and processing. Um, so from that, I kind of figured out what made the most sense, what categories made the most sense for the theme of the um, the theme of the reading, and for goals, productivity, and habit. Um, I kind of came up with a few of the different categories and I went back and forth on some of these. Sometimes I was thinking, oh, this category would work, but none of the cards in there really conveyed what it was that I was trying to express, um, which uh, th that's funny because the first card here is the expression, but um, yeah, so um, so I did kind of go back and forth and um, for the new moon, um, for goals, uh, productivity and habit, I've decided on, so the first card is expression. This is from the seeker category. And I chose this card uh, because it's all about um, that self-expression. Like we're, we're this, ca this, uh, this reading theme is goals, productivity, and habits. And so things we want to set into motion. And first, before we can really set things into motion, we kind of have to understand what it is that we want to, what what way we want to express ourselves um, and the way we choose to convey an idea or an opinion or an emotion. Um, so I thought this was very fitting for the first uh, position. So I'm going to keep this off to the side. So we, this is just the theme card. <laughs> so the next position um, is, I, I felt like we needed some sort of conflict here. So I went into the shadow work category and I found sabotage. So this is what we want. And this is what we're kind of blocking, what we're kind of, uh, uh, in what ways have you been sabotaging yourself uh, or stopping yourself from achieving success and greatness? So that that seemed like a good uh, position, like a good card for um, like a blockage, a, a blockage card. Um, so what it, like, this is what we want, but how are we getting in our own way here? Um, yeah, and then number three was, um, I went to the processing section 
And I decided on define. Um, describe the exact nature, attributes, or details of something to clarify meaning, to create uh, meaning for yourself. So here's what we want. Here's what's blocking us or how we're blocking ourselves. And then how we need to like reassess and define what it is exactly what we want to do. I have no idea if I'm in frame here. <laughs> I think I'm off frame a little bit. So um, that's okay. Okay, so um, yeah, I zoomed out a little bit here or brought the camera up a bit. So, um, so yeah, once we figure out what we want, uh, what's stopping us, what's blocking us, how we're getting in our own way, and then we need to redefine. Like it says define, but I'm sort of thinking of it like, all right, we need to take this and put it into actual words and um, or we need to make something more concrete is I, I think that where I was going with that. So number four, uh, the fourth position here is motivation. Um, yeah. So anything that fuels your productivity, your momentum, uh, or your drive. And this is from the seeker category. Again, I tried not to do too many from the same categories in one reading. Um, but sometimes it, it just made sense. Sometimes there was just a card that made sense and the motivation card made sense to me here. Um, so, uh, or this could be a hidden or unconscious desire that you're, uh, that is driving your actions. So I felt we've, uh, We've expressed what we want. Uh, we've acknowledged wh how we're getting in our own way or what's stopping us. We've uh, redefined. We've we've put into uh, concrete. <laughs> we've made something more concrete on what it is exactly um, we want to achieve here. And then we need motivation. What's going to drive us forward? Um, and what's going to keep us on that momentum? And then finally, the final card was from the success category, which made the most sense to me for uh, for this reading. And I went with commit. We've got that motivation and now we just need to commit. So, and I've kept the sabotage card here in the center as sort of a reminder throughout the reading, like this is what's blocking us. We've got all these cards around it and it's, I almost feel like it's suffocating that sabotage. Whatever that sabotage is, um, all these other like more positive cards or or the cards about expression, uh, definition, motivation, commitment, all of those are driving out that sabotage, I think. And I felt like it was like suffocating. But also this is still at this is still there. Um, and we have to remember how we self sabotage or how we um, mess things up. All right, so that is the new moon reading. Um, next will be the first quarter. Okay, so the theme for um, the first quarter moon, I decided on connections, relationship, and love. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a love reading, um, but it's our general um, social connections. And that's how I chose to interpret this. So I'm going to go ahead and put this off to the side here. So um, the first quarter is all about connection, our connections to the outside world, um, our outside influences, our relationships. Uh, so it made sense uh, that the first card from the secret category would be relationship. Okay. And this sort of talks about a specific relationship. It doesn't necessarily have to be another person. Um, it, it could be a relationship with uh, yourself or with a th like a thing or an idea or um, a project, you know, whatever's relevant um, to the reader at the time. Um, so the relationship, uh, the way you are connected and related to something or somebody, including yourself. So that's going right here. And I think this, I'm going to put this at the top here because this is reading that goes three and then two. All right. So first card is relationship separate, uh, uh, second card, uh, which I went with a similar sort of vein here as the last reading, um, and went with the shadow work. Uh, separation. So what's separating us uh, in this relationship? What is, what's like unbinding us from this relationship that we want to have? Like this is a positive thing in general um, or what we hope to be a positive thing. That's how I interpreted this. Um, of course, if you choose to do uh, these reading layouts for yourself, um, you can interpret it however you want. But for me, I was sort of thinking of this as positive, like the relationships I want in my life. 
and how we're separating from that. Um, so how are you disconnected from love and compassion right now? Um, how, how have you uh, fallen into judgment or criticism toward yourself or others? In what ways do you see yourself as inferior or superior? Uh, what is uh, causing you to suffer and feel not enough? Of course, that's a lot of wordiness there, but like, um, I keep my uh, little descriptions in. I'm oh, sorry, descriptions in here as a one word, one or two word thing. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of the, again the blocking card. Um, what's separating us from this relationship we want to have? Oh, whoops! Actually, this one goes here. <laughs> so relationship, what's separating us? And then the next position is right here. Right. So I went with the light work category. After shadow work, light work. Um, and I went with compassion. Um, so how can you show empathy, sensitivity, clarity, and understanding to yourself and to others? Uh, how can you help alleviate suffering? Suffering. So I, my thought process here, here's the, like the status of the relationship. Um, what we're like, how we're separating from it or how we're being separated from it. Um, how we can come at this in a more compassionate way. Uh, and then I felt like there needed to be some sort of boundary. Um, so to reinforce, uh, so strengthen, to reinforce, to add, to make stronger, to practice and, and persist. So uh, how can we strengthen this relationship? There, there's, um, what's, how are we pulling ourselves away from this or, or not being fully there? Um, how can we choose to be more compassionate or, uh, or to bring compassion to the situation and how we can reinforce, um, that relationship. And finally, um, I chose from success again, uh, support, uh, to help, to aid, to assist, to encourage, to hold space. So this, I felt like was a bit more of an action card. Um, so, uh, let me move that up a little bit so that we can actually see these in frame here. And I even zoomed out. <laughs> um, so the status of the relationship, what, how we're, uh, pulling away from it or how it, where it's not as strong, um, where we can bring compassion um, and understanding to a situation or uh, the relationship as a whole, how we can strengthen and uh, reinforce that bond, and um, and then further support uh, an action card, um, how we can, uh, our actions that can support this relationship. All right, so next up is the full moon. All right. So for the full moon, I went um, on the spirituality side. And there, thankfully, there was a uh, card representing that. Spirituality, metaphysics, philosophy. So that is the general uh, theme for uh, the full moon. All right. So, so I kind of tried to find more spiritually inclined cards for this uh, reading here, uh, for this layout. So the first card was from the light work category and it is universe. And I rep I, I um, put this in my book as meaning a message from the universe. So we're starting off with a message from the universe, something we need to know. Um, so messages from the universe or your recognized higher power. Um, how are you being supported? What is your bigger picture? Uh, uh, how can you strengthen your connection to the divine? So this also uh, was a lot more relevant for me in my overall theme of the year, which is dedicating each month to a deity. So um, yeah, and but of course, you're not doing the same thing <laughs> the people watching maybe not um so like you can interpret this however you want um but for me it made sense like for the full moon we're starting off with a message from my from the deity that i'll be honoring that uh that month all right so then we've got uh three more cards um and this i chose to chose a line and this was from expansion the category expansion um, so to connect uh, deeply, to return to proper course, uh, to, uh, to live in your truths. So we've got a message from the universe or from our guide, from our deity, whatever it is. And how can we align that message? How can we align ourselves to receive that message? That's how I interpreted that. And then um, the next card, uh, like I use different words for this. Um, 
So it is from Light Work and it is prayer. Now I wrote in my book, uh, I did write prayer, but I was thinking more mantra. Um, so a sort of mantra or uh, something to say uh, or an affirmation possibly, um, some sort of affirming uh, message that we can give ourselves. So like this is the, the message from the deity, um, how we can al align ourselves to receive that message um, and sort of our own um, uh, affirmations here or our own mantra. Uh, that's how I chose to interpret this, um, this card here. And then finally, um, the final card is practice. So again, this is from the success category. And I felt like this was, uh, you know, the action card. How could we, like we were centering and aligning ourselves to receive this message. Um, we're, uh, we're creating a, a mantra or something for ourselves, some sort of affirmation here with prayer. Um, I, I prefer not to use the term prayer, but you know, <laughs> that's the term they'd used in this. Um, and then something we can practice or put into, um, motion, uh, to put into action, to apply, uh, a concept in a practical way. So again, this is, uh, how we can take these and, uh, bring it to our, um, mundane lives. And I also wrote as a secondary keyword here, practice slash ritual. Um, so if, I, if I'm looking at this from a purely spiritual standpoint, um, what sort of ritual can I put into practice, um, to receive this message from the universe and to, uh, align and affirm and yeah, set into motion. All right. So that is the full moon. Okay, finally, the last one, and this is actually the one that I did today. Um, so the theme for this moon is selfhood, in introspection, identity. And this is for the third quarter. Uh, it's the, uh, the quarter moon between uh, the full moon and the new moon. Um, so it, it's after the full moon. So I felt like this was a time of, um, to start turning inward. Um, and that, that third quarter moon was to uh, really take a look at ourselves and look at uh, what we're, what you know, maybe even a, a sort of, sh like, I don't actually really like the term shadow work, but like, you know, that that is the term that people use. But um, a sort of shadow worky, <laughs> um, you know, process here. I, I'm really trying to <laughs> figure out my words here. So I'll put that right here. So I, I chose the card for the focus area, selfhood, introspection, identity. And um, yeah, at the end of going over this uh, reading layout, I'm actually going to go ahead and put on screen um, the reading that I did with Ganesha earlier today for the third quarter moon. Um, so the first card, I went with the secret category. And this is behavior. And so I felt like this was a good card to bring out if we're going to take a critical look at ourselves and what we're doing and, um, you know, actions we're taking, our behavior. I felt like behavior was a good first card because it's like, it's really saying, all right, so what is it that we need to address here? What, what about our uh, behavior do we need to address? And it doesn't even necessarily have to be something that, uh, is negative. Um, and in fact, my reading with Lord Ganesha, um, earlier today was a bit more positive and I was expecting something, um, deeper. I, well, not deeper. I, I, I mean, I was expecting something uh, like where I was really going to like I was already down on myself starting this reading. <laughs> you know? And so like, all right, what behavior do I really need to work on? And the reading itself actually took a much more positive uh, turn. And, uh, you know, I'll go over it at the end. But yeah, it that it was um, it was a very uh, moving reading. And I, I felt because it. You know, we have these things where, you know, we're going to talk about our behavior and where we're screwing up in life, where, <laughs> where we need to take a harsh look at ourselves. And, um, and I was really expecting a reading, uh, going down that route. Um, and the first card I pulled, uh, like I was really stretching to try to come up with uh, like a, a negative element of it, but I really, it, it was a quite positive and affirming 
message that I got from that reading. So anyway, um, the second card, uh, I chose karma and I thought this made sense. Um, and to me, this was from the shadow work category. This, this card represented, um, like our past, le like what lessons do we keep having to learn here? Um, so what are the recurring lessons that you need to work through and break free from? Um, how can you transcend your fate and create your own destiny? Um, which it's funny that they use the term transcend because that's one of the cards here, but, <laughs> um, yeah. So I felt like this card represented, uh, like what what behavior like here's the behavior and what do we keep repeating here uh what lesson do we have to keep learning and and that we can't seem to grasp or hold on to um and that's how i interpreted the karma card so next up is forgive um which was from the expansion category and i thought this was an important card for this so especially when I was coming into this sort of thinking that this was going to be the tough reading. This was going to be the one where like you're really going to have to start looking at yourself, looking what you're doing wrong and uh, things like that. And um, and I wanted to bring a sense of kindness to this and say, look, we have this behavior or this behavior p that we potentially keep doing or um, this uh, mindset that we keep um putting ourselves in or we keep adopting this uh this mindset that's you know we need to forgive um so where uh where to where do we need to neutralize guilt um and to make peace um to practice compassion to let go to set yourself free and i thought that was an important decision here and finally save the top spot for last because this is transcend and how do we rise above it um, we've got this behavior, uh, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be negative. Um, but, and we have this behavior that's linked to this lesson that, uh, we have to keep relearning and how can we kind of give ourselves some grace here? And then how can we move forward and transcend and move above, uh, beyond that, um, to surpass our limits, to evolve. So that is the final position here at the, at the top. So how to transcend. And it's actually my reading is more like this. But um, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and overlay an image of my reading. And I'm not going to go into depth on my reading here. Um, and I did put it in my notebook here. <laughs> um, I'm going to, uh, at the end of the month, because uh, I, I also have the... Uh, Ganesha welcoming reading here um, at the end of the month I'm actually going to go through because I took pictures of all the readings and I'm going to print off uh, stickers of each reading and then put the st sticker of the reading um, on that page so that that's the plan that's why there's nothing here but anyway <laughs> so the reading I, I did um, yeah so the card that I got for the oracle card that I got for the uh, selfhood uh, introspection identity something to keep in mind or a, a general theme here um, and I pulled from the whispers of Lord Ganesha I pulled the relaxation card which I thought was very funny uh, because I just pulled that card on the first uh, January 1st when I did my Ganesha welcoming ritual the first card that came out was the relaxation card and I get it again for my second reading uh, with Ganesha. Um, so this is something that um, right now Lord Ganesha really wants to, you know, be at the forefront of my mind here. This relaxation of, you know, and I interpret that as um, of not taking on too much here. And because I'm doing a lot of planning, I'm doing a lot of figuring out my schedules and, um, and like I felt like the relaxation card was um cool your jets a little bit here and um and it come into this relaxed come into this um focused and um not stressed and that's that's how I was reading that um and yeah it's <laughs> I I received that message for the first reading yesterday and I get that message again today all right so uh relaxation so my behavior, um, I pulled the three of wands and, um, I'm trying to decide if I want to go, uh, in depth on the, my own personal reading here or not, but, um, I guess I will. So I don't know. I think because this was such a, uh, shadow worky, um, 
reading that I was expecting uh, to be sort of called out on a lot of <laughs> my poor choices, bad behavior, things like that. But really, like the Three of Wands, um, I interpreted it as I'm putting forth effort to clearly define my goals and uh, taking steps to implement actions to achieve those goals. And a sort of like, what do I want? You know, and that's that's the behavior that like, you know, that I am exhibiting right now that um, I'm I'm making all these decisions about my life. I'm making all these, uh, you know, plans and uh, goals and things like that. But um, have I ever stopped and relaxed for a second and realized what it was, that, what it is that I want? So that's how I interpreted that um, karma the, for the karma card. I pulled strength. Like, what a good card. What a nice card to uh, pull here. And so what's a lesson that I need to keep relearning? And this really hit home for me. Um, it, and it was a believing in myself. Um, and, like, I don't take a lot of opportunities that are presented to me out of fear. Um, and out of this idea that I'm not good enough. And that I'm not going to, I'm not going to be able to do it and or or to meet people's expectations and so that level of strength and saying to myself i am strong um that's that's a lesson that i really uh need to keep learning <laughs> and so how can i give myself some grace here how can i forgive myself for this um and i pulled the suspend card and by the way uh the deck that i used uh for this reading was the guardian tarot um, yeah, so I, I just felt like that was a good, uh, you know, third quarter moon reading. <laughs> I didn't have a really good reason for uh, pulling that deck. It just, I kind of picked whatever deck called me at the time, and that one did. So um, the for Forgive, I pulled the Suspend card, which is the Hangman. Um, the deck just renames it to Suspend. So I, I felt like there was a big connection between that Suspend card and the Relaxation card. And because I was sort of thinking of suspension or um, halting, like suspend, like stopping, like um, something like that. And so suspend, there's a, like, like I said, there's a connection between that card and relaxation. And so there's a don't take myself so seriously here. Um, take time to reflect and process the past, process um, why I'm feeling um, not good enough. Why, why I keep going back to, um, uh, thinking that I can't, that I can't do something or that I can't live up to expectations. So that's, um, that's the area where I need to give myself some grace is, you know, like not being so hard on myself. Okay. And so finally transcend, um, like kind of in action or, uh, or a mindset to move forward on to help evolve. Now I pulled the Ten of Cups, um, and I like to me the Ten of Cups is all about um, like that. It, it is like the happy home, happy family sort of thing. Um, and and I sort of thought of like how lucky I am, how in and how uh, privileged I am in life, and um, and. I'm, I'm on the right path was how I was sort of interpreting that. And, um, and I need to remind myself of that, that, uh, how can I transcend these negative thoughts by reminding myself that I, I am on a good path here. I, I am where I need to be. Um, I'm, I know my goals. Um, I like this idea of not knowing what I want. If, you know, I do know what I want. Um, it's kind of that believing in myself and to stick with that. Um, yeah, and like, and I have the ability and the opportunity to achieve what it is that I want. So that's how I interpreted that. Um, so yeah, so that was um, my own personal reading that I just did today for the uh, third quarter moon in, in Libra. <laughs> um, yeah, and so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this. <laughs> it was a lot of fun to come up with these uh, these spreads for the moon uh, for each of the four moon sections of um 
of uh, the month. So uh, if you guys end up using any of these spreads, um, either for a full moon, new moon, quarter moon, uh, or just as uh, on its own, like um, using some of these spreads and using them whenever you want. If you use any of these spreads, uh, let me know down below. And I would really, really love to uh, hear if you're willing to share uh, your reading. Um, thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you next time. Bye.